Hey, my name is Blake Anderson. I'm a field engineer for Royal Electric. So we're out at Houston Airport right now. We're really focused on getting all the OSAP lighting done, all the running, uh, all the lighting coming forward. Uh, we're running a lot of duct banks, putting a lot of hand holds. Yeah, so our morning starts at 0630. From there, we conduct stretch and flex, our morning meetings. We all like to pitch in about what we can do to improve on being safer, what we can do on making the day more productive. Once that's done, we have about a 15 minute drive into the gate to our job site. It's a very lengthy service road. Once we're here, uh, I like to get straight into work with grabbing the guys any material that they need, any kind of tools, equipment, and then I'll go through with the guys, check on their equipment, make sure everything's functional, working. Once all that's wrapped up, I'm normally back out helping the guys in the trench or in the ditches, and we're just moving forward throughout the day. So our start date was back early January. Uh, currently, we're working on all the approach lighting, and then we're due to end around March 20th, but we're hoping that we can beat that deadline. So we're out with Daco, and they're very experienced when it comes to airfields. They're actually working on all the demolition out here for us and the hurricane shelter, along with the FAA shelter. That's gonna be all in their scope and we're gonna run power over to them. Yeah, it's been really good working with Daco. They've been very helpful, such as lending us equipment or lending us a hand if we need it and vice versa. We're always there to help them if they need it. And we've helped them a lot when it comes to the demo work out here and just tearing up the ground for them. Some of the challenges that we've been facing out here in Texas, especially has been the weather. Uh, we've been fighting it a lot. A couple weeks ago, it was 35 degrees, and now we're back up to the 80s. And that really affects our digging problems, such as the ground and how dense it is or how loose. One week, the ground will be nice and firm. Next thing we know, we're sinking our trucks. So we've been battling that, but Brandon and I, we've come up with better solutions on when we might need the excavator to pull someone out or to have a truck on standby in case that happens. So Brandon being my superintendent, he's been extremely helpful. He has that prior knowledge of being a field engineer. So every time I have a question regarding that, he's able to answer it very quick and concise. And other than that, he's just been a very stellar guy, very knowledgeable, very punctual, and probably one of the hardest working guys I've seen at Royal so far. Yeah, so I joined the United States Marine Corps at the age of 18, so back in 2016. I joined them because I wanted a better sense of well-being and to travel. And then I got out in 2020 and then went straight into Royal. Uh, I've always been involved in construction growing up, but I got through Royal just through an interview, got started in the prefab, and then moved my way up and, as a field engineer. Prefab was a great start. It taught me a lot of knowledge when it came to the material and how small things are built, uh, especially when it comes to the airport, it taught me a lot about the precast aspect of it but I wanted to move up further with this company, so I knew my next step would probably be best as a field engineer to learn the field aspects. Uh, as a field engineer, our day-to-day -day is pretty much just dealing with the heavy jobs, uh, quality control work, and then pretty much just helping out the crew wherever they need it, that, whether that be running material or we're out in the field in the trenches with them. Yeah, so our next project we're gonna be scheduled to go into is gonna be Grissom Air Base. That's up in Indiana. Uh, that will be myself, Jordan Cole, Roxy, and Brandon. So we'll be heading up there. That's scheduled for a six month project and continue on as a field engineer, but I really would like to move up in this company, become a project super superintendent.